Welcome! In this short video on Partea's flow for operating rooms, a software to manage the patient flow throughout the OR. My name is Koen Walters, I'm the manager of Partea's. In this short video, I'm going to talk about the two key components of the solution. First, I'm going to show a standard example setup for a day hospitalization OR in a hospital and how the software interacts with it. Also, we're going to talk about the tracking hardware that is used as a key enabler for the solution. In the second part of this uh, video, I'm going to talk about the mobile application on top of the earlier solution. A mobile app for parents or family members or partners, which is used by them in order to follow up the patient throughout the surgery. So let's start with the patient flow management in the OR. We'll provide an example flow and show how that translates into the software. The goal of the software is to support the hospital staff throughout the OR process. We'll start with a relatively classic setup. In this scenario, it concerns a setup for a day hospitalization. So we start at the subscription desk, patient comes in, gets subscribed and gets a wearable more about the wearable later. He gets also a ticket with wayfinding information in order to reach the waiting room. And also on that ticket, there's information about the mobile app, later more about the mobile app. The patient goes into the correct waiting room and a member of staff, we'll see in the software later, can call the patient into the preparation. The patient is in the preparation room and when ready, is moved towards the OR. In the OR, surgery is finished, patient goes into the recovery and in the recovery you'll see that we have a time measurement system in order to monitor the amount of time spent into the recovery room. After recovery, the patient moves into his room. This is the main screen in our software for the entire operating theater where we start with our patients uh, at the subscription desk, uh, you will see that all the different stages are on the screen and automatically when a patient is detected in a different zone, the patient will move to the next zone. So the patient starts at the subscription desk and moves to the waiting room. This is the moment where a staff member will actually do a manual action to call the patient from the waiting room into the preparation room. Okay. When this happens on the television screen in the waiting room, an auditive signal will go off with information for the patient to come to the preparation room. From the preparation room, when the patient is ready to go into surgery, into the OR. After surgery, from the surgery room, into recovery and you see that in the recovery we actually also monitor the time of how much time the patient has spent into the recovery room and if that passes a certain threshold then that will show as a red card and ultimately the patient moves into the CDC. So how do we track patients throughout the hospital infrastructure? We actually work together with our partners Oxys, who are deploying or are able to deploy a centric based infrared type of uh, application and use these type of tags in order to track the patient through the hospital infrastructure. It works on infrared and wherever we want to have the patient detected, we put also a reading type of device in order to pick up these type of tags. These tags are usually uh, put on a wristband 
which could be the patient ID wristband, which is hung on uh, obviously on, on your wrist. Uh, the entire infrastructure supports this type of uh, solution, but also provides abilities to integrate, for instance, other types of uh, asset management tracking. We use uh, the Centrac hardware, which then connects to the Oxys Hertz middleware. And that middleware, when it detects uh, in a certain location a patient, in real time sends the information towards Partia's flow. We talked about the foundation of the software and how it integrates with the hardware. In the second part of the video, we want to address the mobile app. This part of the solution got added in the summer of 2020 in the midst of the corona pandemic. We will demonstrate how the app works, but people from a hospital can also see how it contributes to decreasing the number of people in the entire hospital infrastructure. The intention of the app is simple, making sure that patient companions, parents, uh, children, partners get information on the progress of the surgery via the mobile app. Whenever the status and location of the patient changes, we inform these people in real time. If we would like them uh, to, in to invite them uh, to take a certain action, we send out explicit notifications. In the mobile app, the companion can see the status for the patient, the patient, the surgery and the current status in the language of the patient. You can see that the patient is currently in the operating theater and in real time, if the position changes, the information will be altered. The status overview is kept up to date at all moments in time. The second view is when we expect something from the companion. In such scenario, he will receive a notification. So for instance, now we are going to request the companion to come to the recovery room patient goes into the recovery room and then we provide on the mobile app a notification where we ask the companion to go to the recovery room. We've reached the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it and that you got a better idea of how the solution works. Are you curious to find out more about other features in the software, such as, for instance, audit and management reporting? Do you want to find out more on how we can tailor it to the patient flow in your hospital? Do you need to get an idea of the possibilities for integration with other software applications? Or are you interested to find out more about the hardware? Do you want to see how the app gets branded just the way you want it for your hospital? Or are you interested to get a price indication or quote? For all these questions and other, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you for watching this video and I hope to hear from you soon.